Let us discuss about the structure of receptor tyrosine kinase or RTKS. The receptor for epidermal growth factor or EGF is a typical receptor tyrosine kinase. This receptor tyrosine kinase belongs to a cell spanning from extracellular space, plasma membrane and cytosol. The extracellular portion of the receptor is present in the extracellular space. This extracellular portion has an EGF binding site. These receptors often have only one transmembrane segment. In the cytosol, a portion of receptor forms the tyrosine kinase which shows enzymatic activity. The remainder of the receptor constitute a cytosolic tail. The cytosolic tail contains a series of tyrosine residues. These tyrosine residues are substrates or targets for the tyrosine kinase. Now we will discuss about the activation of receptor tyrosine kinase. The process of activation starts with the binding of EGF which acts as ligand or messenger for the receptor tyrosine kinase. This ligand binding causes receptor aggregation or clustering within the plasma membrane. Once the receptor cluster or aggregate tyrosine kinase associated with each receptor phosphorylate the tyrosines of the neighboring receptor. This is called as cross phosphorylation. This cross phosphorylation produces tyrosine phosphate. The formation of tyrosine phosphate residues on the receptor creates binding sites for cytosolic proteins like PLC gamma and GRB2 that contains SH2 domains. Now we will switch over our discussion about the types of receptor tyrosine kinase. The receptor tyrosine kinase is of two types. One is receptor tyrosine kinase and another is non-receptor tyrosine kinase. It is the first discovered tyrosine kinase. The receptor tyrosine kinase often consists of one polypeptide chain with many domains like ligand binding domain, one transmembrane segment and one cytosolic domain. The tyrosine kinase is the integral part of this type of receptor protein. The non-receptor tyrosine kinase contains two separate proteins like receptor protein and tyrosine kinase. The first non-receptor tyrosine kinase to be identified was SRC protein. This SRC protein is found in the avian sarcoma virus. The cell signaling via RTKS leads to cell growth, cell proliferation and cell differentiation. The other examples of receptor tyrosine kinases are insulin receptor and the growth nerve growth factor receptor. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and press the bell icon to see more videos on my channel.